If you're planning on spending your next vacation fishing in the Dominican Republic, congratulations. You've made a great choice. If you're still undecided, we've got a long list of reasons why you should visit this sport fishing paradise. Over 800 miles of coastline and nearly every pelagic fish under the sun are just the beginning. So if you're ready to start planning your trip, you're in the right place. In this video, we're covering everything you need to know before going fishing in the Dominican Republic. Before we dive in, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date on all the latest fishing videos from the hottest spots around the globe. This slice of paradise sits in the middle of the Caribbean with access to the Caribbean Sea from the south and the Atlantic Ocean from the north and east. It's the perfect setting for sunbathing, swimming, and casting a line. But it's the deep sea fishing in the Dominican Republic that keeps anglers coming back for more every year. The blue marlin, white marlin, sailfish, swordfish, tunas, mahi-mahi, and wahoo that all call the DR's deep waters home might have a little bit of something to do with why. Best of all, you can hook big game fish year round. Of course, if you're after a certain species of a specific size, keeping seasonality in mind is a good idea. For example, the biggest blue marlin are caught in the summer months, whereas dozens of white marlin will come within a few miles of shore in the spring. If an inshore trip is more your speed, the island offers stellar fishing opportunities for you too. Flats fishing in the Caribbean is incredible, and the Dominican Republic is no exception. Tarpon, snook, permit, and bonefish are all there for the taking. Trips to the flats are especially great in the winter months when the shallow waters are their clearest. The bite may be slower than it is in deeper waters, but it's a challenge any inshore angler is willing to take. Last but not least, the reef fish. From May through November, barracuda, snappers, groupers, rainbow runner, jacks, bonito, and triggerfish are all on the table. Kubera and yellowtail snapper are the most common catches, as are red and black grouper. This is excellent news for any angler after a delicious meal. Whatever kind of fish you're after, your trip will rarely need to go over eight hours. That's because most of the Dominican Republic's hottest fishing spots aren't all that far from shore. Like you might have guessed, Punta Cana is one of the most popular starting points on the island. The sandy beaches of this town face both the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea, creating what's called the Mona Passage. Here, there's a billfish to target any day of the year, with marlin and sailfish searching for food only a couple of miles from shore. You'll have to go further out to get your hooks into swordfish, but it's more than worth it. If you come to target inshore fish, head to the waters around Cap Cana. Hop aboard a charter boat or cast a line from shore into calm waters. This is a great spot for a trip with the family or when the weather conditions don't allow for deep sea fishing. And then there's Puerto Plata. Located on the northern side of the island, it offers similar deep sea fishing opportunities to Punta Cana, only exclusively in Atlantic waters. With a whopping 25,000 billfish catches a year, it comes to no surprise that this town is locally known as the Bride of the Atlantic. Multiple FADs, which are floating man-made devices used to attract pelagic fish, have been placed right off the coast, making it one of the best spots to target them. Wherever you're setting out from, there's bound to be a charter captain nearby. When fishing is as legendary as it is in the Dominican Republic, you can count on first-class boats and professional guides offering full-service trips. And when we say full-service, we mean it. Most charters will include everything from drinks and fresh lunches to airport pickups and hotel drop-offs. You can also ask your captain if they'll clean and fillet your catch so you can take it back to shore and enjoy it at a local restaurant. Well, right now, the one I recommend the most, uh, value for money of all my trips, will be the full day 10 hour blue marlin trip. This is the most expensive one, but why? Well, we were named number one in the world for blue marlin. So if you're here, why not go and fulfill a dream like catching a blue marlin? Typically it's included transportation from and to the hotel, any type of permits, any type of licenses, food, drinks, water, sodas, snacks, sandwiches, chips. They just need to bring suntan lotion and positive attitude. The crew will also make sure you're following all the local rules and regulations. The most important being the release of all billfish, which is mandatory in the Dominican Republic. If you're trying out specialty techniques like spearfishing, they'll also make sure you're fishing in the designated areas and seasons. Remember, deep sea fishing in the Dominican Republic is especially popular. Booking your charter in advance is recommended for getting everything you want. And that's why we're here. Fishingbooker.com offers the largest selection of fishing charters in the Dominican Republic, all in one place. With fast and easy online booking, real customer reviews, and a best price guarantee, you can spend more time focusing on what matters, getting your friends and family together and having an incredible day on the water. 
So go ahead and visit fishingbooker.com and start planning your fishing trip in the Dominican Republic today.